So in this video, I wanted to show you the difference up close between a extremely sharp razor blade. This is just a regular utility blade right out of the box. These are hair whittling sharp. They're extremely sharp. And uh, then what we're gonna do is after I show you the up close image, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna cut some cardboard with it real quick. We'll dull it to a point where it technically needs to be sharpened, just cutting our regular stuff. And uh, we'll put this back under the ultra, mag uh, ultra magnification lens and I'll show you what it looks like after it needs to be sharpened. We're really taking the sharpening aspect of it out of this video by using a stock utility blade like this. So this is our sharpened edge. Here is the point on a needle. One thing that you couldn't really see on this edge is it actually, well, with the naked eye anyway, is it actually has three bevels on it. It has a bevel here, has a bevel here, and then it has sort of a micro bevel right here. You can see they started it off with a, a coarse, and then it looks like it went a little bit finer, and then the finest up top. And this edge is a uh, hair or tree topping sharp. If we take a single strand of hair and drag it along the edge, it will, it will cut it. Hopefully I got that, I'm not sure. So I'll put this into the knife. We're definitely at the point now where I would want to change this blade. It's it's dull. I believe everything's in focus. So you can definitely see now uh, the uh, the dullness coming through, <laughs> and why we want to change the blade. I'm gonna try and do this and not shake the camera too much. I'm gonna sort of pan over here to. All right, so I've panned over to the section of the blade that was actually inside the knife. And you can see the difference between the sharp side and the dull side. It actually looks like we may have worn away some of that really, really thin apex, you know, down into the blade. Where's my pointer? There we are. So you can see how it kind of dips down right here. And then straight across on the other side. Very interesting. The blade actually still slices fairly decently considering it's this dull, but that's simply due to the fact that it's so thin. Uh, where? I keep losing my, there we go. Um, you know, the thickness of the blade between this side here and the opposite side is still, you know, it's extremely thin. It's like sheet metal thin. And that's what gives it the slicing ability so even when you have a really dull apex like this, it'll still slice through cardboard fairly easily just because of that thinness. But there's the difference between sharp side and dull side. Just give you a second to look at this and uh, take it all in. Exciting stuff, I know. We had some pretty hard stuff in that cardboard and whatever else we cut, because you can see those scratches. And there are uh, fairly coarse scratches there. And just for comparison's sake, here is a brand new edge. And here is our used edge. Okay, so that about wraps up this video. We are going to be doing a lot more 
with this cool little lens setup we got here and uh, showing you all kinds of stuff that you've probably never seen before because I haven't seen it before and it's really cool just to kind of mess around with this thing. This video was taking the whole sharpening aspect out of it and just showing you a dull edge versus a sharp edge and what it looks like up close. In future videos we're going to be throwing the sharpening stuff back in showing you what it's like to uh, get a dull knife and then bring it back on a strop or a steel or something like that and then you know all kinds of stuff so if you want to see more of that please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and also leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see us do with this lens here anyway have a nice day thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video